Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. A lot of Fundibos, a lot of Igbos generally, both in Nigeria and in diaspora, have been calling uh, the president, the presidency, over the marginalization issue, this insecurity that is taking place in the Southeast, and what uh, the presidency should do. Well, it looks like the president, for the very first time in a very long time, is thinking towards the Biafrans, quote and unquote. And of course, um, Chiwetelago, uh, one of uh, Nollywood's finest as well, have also advised advice or given a uh, president Muhammad Buhari some tips that can stop this insecurity that is going on in uh, South Southeast and what he should do that will totally stop insecurity in Southeast. Before we go to the news proper to ram all this news into one, I'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Let us start with what President Mohamed Bari is doing for Bia France. Mm. Well, this, um, the President Mohamed Bari has ordered the payment of gratuities to 102 pardoned ex Bia France soldiers. This was revealed by Nigeria's Minister of Defense, Major General Basha Mag. Magashi retired on Friday. Magashi disclosed that the soldiers have been captured for payment of gratuity and other uh, emoluments, emoluments by the Military Pensions Board. Speaking at the 2022 Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration in Abuja, he said, It will interest you to know that the Military Pensions Board just concluded the documentation of ex Biafran service personnel to tell totaling 102 who were pardoned by Mr. President. The chaos ended 51 years ago, and many of those involved are no longer alive, but those with genuine complaints can come forward with their claims for consideration. He also said payment of pension and gratuity to retired military personnel had been prompt and regular, adding that the ministry in conjunction with the military pensions board conducts regular verification exercises for military pensioners to streamline and check leakages in the system wow that's quite commendable if you must say that of course Jim Otelago have decided to give his full details on what can help in a totally stopping the issue of insecurity. Where well, the Nollywood actor Chiwe Talago has said frequent move by UGM in southeast part of Nigeria is easy to solve if President Muhammad Buhari will stop all injustice and inequality. Ago, who just got released by the Department of State Services DSS, said the quarter system in place in the country would lead to nowhere. He asked the question, said, have you ever heard about quarter system? It's quarter system good that someone from the south with a high score will not gain university admission, while a candidate from the north with a lower score would gain admission ahead of me? It's an unfair system, inequitable, unpardonable. Let everybody progress at their intelligence quotient, that's pace. Pace, rather, this treatment can make somebody, some people, run mad. The movement by UGM in the southeast is very simple to solve. It is because you are encouraging them that is that that is still why subsisting. Let's stop all acts of injustice and inequality and in inequ Okay, I'll take that again. Let's stop the acts of injustice and equity. Do you do you know how many Nigerians have left the country with their with their ingenuity because the country was made inconvenient for them to 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 work uncountable if your gm and other criminals are supposed to be dealt with why have you allowed boko haram to operate freely for many years do you know how much is spent by the government nothing on personnel and on my progress or yours nothing on personnel or my progress or even yours it is all going into arms being deployed against fellow nigerians ago said in an interview on if he believes the Bring it down in South is where being perpetrated by IPOB. Ago said, did they do any investigation or was it just guesswork? Mm -hmm. Who has ever placed his research or investigation or even report on the table to prove it is IPOB? Which IPOB members have they brought to prove their claims? All these are conjectures they want people to believe. If it is them, that's IPOB, arrest them. And give them lawful punishment. No criminal should be left unpunished, whether from the north, from the south, from the east or west. These things were triggered because people were pushed. So whether it is UGM or on UGM, 
uh, that's whether it is UGM or on UGM trace their involvement in any crime then deal with them but don't be partial the parameters you use in the north should also be used in the south in the east and also in the west so people will begin to see you as a human being fair and also just you also said that the agitation for biafra is coming because Igbos were denied everything due to them if you want the Igbo man to run the affairs of the country do not impose your ideas on him do not intimidate him. Buhari came in 2015. Have you ever seen anyone dictating to him? He does whatever he likes. I don't fail to recall when 83 persons were killed in Benue State. Governor Tom ran to President Buhari to complain. The president was supposed to attend the burial. Nobody is saying he should bring the dead back to life or, or help to bury the corpses. After that, an attempt was made on Tom's life. As long as equity is placed on the table, or rather, as long as equity is not placed on the table, all you, all you do is nothing. Equity must come in and the federal government must operate in equity and fairness. This is well said. <laughs> Honestly, to cut out the long story short, Jim Watalago has summarized it. In as much as there's, equi there's inequality, there's unfairness, there's marginalization, a typical example is this quarter system. I cannot forget what um, Governor Nisa Arafai said. He said maybe he made mention of that quarter system. They shut him up. He said he said the truth. Governor in uh, Arafai nailed it on the head. He said, "Look, let's call a spade a spade. This quarter system, we should allow everybody to free flow. How can somebody who has better result, better cut off, better everything?" Will, will not be given consideration because uh, based on the cut of mark, the one from the south is very high because it's very competitive and the one from the north is very low because they want to encourage them to go to school and they give them very low marks so that they can, if they can just try and make an attempt, they will, will, they will allow them in. And then, and then they will not come into school and the, the southerners will struggle to get admission into school and they will both graduate and you say because this one is holding BSc, I wonder even in BSc, if they really mark with a special marking scheme for those from quarter system. I wouldn't know though, but if it is, it's, it's sad. With this level of inequality, then then what you're trying to say is that um, because they're not interested in education, give them low levels. And then those who also have you know weaknesses in other places that do the same. You know, if they're not so interested in education, allow them. You know, if they visit just to have SSC, the day they decide to want to go to school, they see the beauty of being a graduate, being educated, exposed and learned, they will they will make up their mind to read. It, you know, it begins with the quarter system, then other things follow. The, 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 the way of recruitment, there's some particular sector regions that are given better consideration than others. Some names open better doors than some others. This shouldn't be for a country that is said to be a united country that is diverse, diverse in culture, but united in one voice. Then we should all have equal law, equal governing body ruling all. That's what we'll go wrap it up. Let's meet in the conversation. What's it take? Do I have a